Is a developing crash in Airbnb revenues creating a surge in housing inventory? And what would that mean for the mortgage industry? You may have seen some of the headlines like these. Airbnb revenues crashing nearly 50% in some of the top 10 cities in the US. And it's created a lot of buzz because there are over 1 million homes listed on Airbnb. And that inventory becoming available in a market like we're in today would make a really big difference for people. Just this month, we're seeing housing completion and housing starts at around 1.4 million each. But with about 100,000 homes having to be replaced and about 1.5 million household formations, we're still seeing a shortage of about 200,000 homes every month. And this is likely the core reason that we're seeing housing values continue to rise in spite of rates and all the other market pressures that we're seeing. In fact, this month, housing is at a peak from a value perspective. And you may not be seeing that in your, your own local area, but nationally, that's really what's occurring. So does that mean we might see some relief soon? If you live in one of these top 10 cities that are listed in some of these reports, you may see some relief. But according to the Air DNA, as well as a few other sources, it just doesn't look like these reports represent the reality of what's happening nationally. 2023 is expected to see about a 1% drop in revenue per available room on Airbnb. And while experiencing about a 14% increase in listings, we're still expecting a, a pretty flat year for 2024. It really does appear that most of these reports are just cherry picking some outlier data and under reporting on the whole picture. But where does that leave us in the mortgage space? Truthfully, it appears we're continuing to stay in a housing market with a shortage of inventory, more buyers than builders and sellers combined. And with that, the continued pressure on home values, it's not the news that we want, but for now it is the current reality. But there are still ways that we can use the shortages of listings and shortage of inventory to our advantage. And while this market is in place, it can benefit us. And the key strategy to finding opportunities and using them to grow your business is to first understand a few things about listing behavior among American households. The average American homeowner is looking to sell their current home and purchase a new home about every 10 years. And when they are doing that, they have two possible paths that they can take. They can list their home for sale and then apply for a mortgage, or they can apply for a mortgage and then list their home for sale. Now, which course someone chooses depends a lot on their market, their priorities, their concerns, and they're just life circumstances. But the data is pretty clear, and that is about half of people go one direction and half of people go the other. Meaning half of your past clients will enter the market by listing their home for sale. Half of your past clients will enter the market by applying for a mortgage first. So that's kind of the split. So using that information, the strategy is to recognize that if you, the lender, can get early in the market indicators and start intercepting those opportunities, you will be the one controlling a source of business, which you can then direct to current partnerships to strengthen your existing relationships or you can direct them by sending them to potential partners to create new relationships. Now, this strategy is specific to your own data. Everyone has data, but not everyone thinks about it like this or in this way. But if you're notified of an instant inquiry alert, the moment someone in your contact list has their credit pulled for a mortgage with one of your competitors, or you're notified when property listing alerts happen, um, on someone in your database when they put their home up for sale on the market. You're tapping into some of the earliest pre-market or in the market insights of when someone is beginning the home buying and oftentimes the home selling process. Knowledge is power in this instance and using that information and that data to drive targeted sales and marketing outreach with a strategy to direct that contact back to your partners during a time when inventory is low will give you not only a consistent source of business for yourself and your teams, but it establishes you as a trusted business partner a, to a larger network of realtors who are in real need of stronger business partnerships today. And keep in mind, most people get stuck at this point. They don't understand the data that's available to them, how easy it is to deploy or utilize, and they often don't consider the power that that kind of information has to give them an advantage, to give them a competitive edge beginning to recognize the, the really incredible power that data can play 
in capturing opportunities like really some of the biggest corporations in the world are doing today is going to be a key strategy in keeping up with an accelerating and a very changing marketplace like the mortgage space is today. And we all hear the advice that big data is a competitive advantage, that data is a powerful tool. But today, most people don't even use their own data to their advantage, much less the other potential data sources that are at their fingertips.